This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this new world of glossy animations and high-class renderings, it's not just the architect who's getting in on the act. And for engineers who are taking their work seriously, they actually want to create a render that looks similar to the finished product. This can give you a rendering or a walkthrough that will make your work stand out from the crowd. So let's take a look at the materials, and how we can manipulate them, and if necessary, apply them to objects. So from the Manage tab, select Materials. This will give you a list of all the materials that have been predefined in your project template. Let's take some of the metals as an example. In my project, I'd like to define a new material based on one of the current materials available. What I don't want to do, however, is to change the one that's already in the project. So the first thing I'll do is click on Duplicate and give it an appropriate name. Let's call this My Project. Red Chrome and click on OK. This gives me a brand new material that I can now change to suit this particular project. I can have a look at its identity, its graphics, and its appearance. At this point, I can define many parameters associated with this new material. I could say select that it's aluminium and any one of the predefined metals that we already have in our library. We can change its colour and the image associated with the metal. When we're happy with this, we can click on Apply, click on OK, and we're now ready to apply our material to any of the objects that we wish to, whether that's by a type property or by painting it onto a particular surface. So for a duct material, we'd go to our Object Styles, save our project when prompted, of course, go to My Ducts, and then apply material, which happens to be my project red chrome. And here in the view, we see that the color has been updated. This would also be reflected in the final render. If I change the visual style to shaded, however, you'll notice that the color of the duct has changed to black. This is due to the fact that I've missed one step. Back in materials, I'll select my project red chrome material, click on the graphics tab, and look at the surface pattern. Here I can specify a solid fill with a red colour. Click on Apply, and now my material looks correct for a shaded view.